I didn't realize the music wasn't on. Hello everyone! It is I Reverse, so welcome back to another Pokemon Go livestream. How are we all doing today? I hope you guys are all doing well. Uh, at the left top corner, you actually see the subscribers going up to 127 and then going down to... Yeah, just like that. It, it's, it's really weird. I have no idea what's going on. I might turn it... it look at that! I have no idea what's going on. It's like that's the amount of live subscribers and then gets removed and then gets added on. I have no idea what's going on. How are we all doing today? Today's a big, big, big day. Today is the day that Celery is making a its, its appearance in Pokemon Go. Work on the stream until Celery's live. Uh, I'm really excited for that. It's a, it's, it's a massive day. It's just it's really exciting. It's really exciting to see how this one's going to be going down. Let's go ahead and take a look at what you guys... Oh, gosh. I forgot about something real quick. Uh, I'm going to uh, turn on some notifications. First up. Boop. I forgot that I need to turn these off while I'm streaming. Because otherwise, I'm going to be getting messages upon messages upon messages appearing on screen. And I don't, don't want that to happen. i going to turn this off. Um, oh, Gmail's already turned off. That explains why I'm not responding to my mails. If any money, I'm so sorry about that. Uh, ins oh, no, that's that's fine. Instagram. Boom. Good pre preparation. Rattata was caught. There we go. Let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, by the way, I, I want to know from you guys in chat. Does the, um, does the thing work with the uh, membership? Does, does that work? Or is it, like, not working at all? Because... I legitimately have no idea. Does that bring you to any sort of link? Or anything? Does it bring you anywhere? It's, if it's if it's not working, then I'm sorry. I'm looking for feedback, guys. Celebi in one hour, yes. What time does it drop? In about an hour from now. About one hour from now. Yes. It just brings me to my channel. Okay. Okay, okay. I'm getting some messages. Is the time release confirmed or is it speculation? It is speculation, but it's very certain it's going to be today. I'm going to turn off the subscription fee thing because that is driving me really crazy right now. Um, the subscription thing, where is it at? This one live counts. It goes up and down. I have no idea why it does that. So we'll move this to the top here. Move this right here. Move salary up. And then we should be good to go. So the uh, the live stream, uh, the membership thing does not work, right? All right, all right, all right, all right. That's that's good to know. I guess for now, what I'll do is I'll change this song, and I'll set Nightbot up so that way it doesn't give that link anymore because the link apparently is broke. I've no idea what it is, but YouTube lately has been really strange. It does weird kind of things to. Um, So like for instance, if I go to if I tap on my subscription feed, it just brings me to like a generic YouTube page, like a generic YouTube subscription page, and I have no idea why it does that. Like it's it's really kind of strange. Anyway, that being said, sorry to get all of these shenanigans out of the way. Let's go ahead and greet you guys in the chat right now. Let's go ahead and take a look who's in chat. I see Brandy Russ, I see T R, I see True Infernus, Pokemon Go Adventure, Sam Hops, the Entertainment Channel, Mr. Green, Justin, Echnoweech. Legend Rinsler, Magnus, Stevens, it's going really quick right now. B-Joy, oh my days, this is going really quick. This is going quicker than usual. Shiopa, David Torres, Roboblasters, Connor Harris, Matthew Jenkins, Ashnis, uh, Chadna, uh, Ander Dan, Dozer762, Cootie Boy, Mr. Pokemon with that super chat. I appreciate that, bro. Thank you so much. I, uh, I didn't say anything, but I appreciate that. Shout out to you, my man. Uh, Fumi me once everything. Goku, uh, Jonah K, Justin Fisher, uh, Justin Ritter, 
Connor Travis, Goosey Mar, uh, Lage GD, Sammy Mark, JT Valor, good to see you too, Super Doyle, we got Snorri Sandil in here as well. Um... We got Urbex Attenborough, OP Gamer, Joseph Griffith, Paul Smith, Sol FIFA Mobile, FF0000. I rec recognize the color. That's actually the white color, I believe. Um, we got Supercat Official Channel. We got Ethan. We got Eric Skywalker. We got Joyce. We got Soren. We got Ryan. We got Andres. We got Sakultala. Vex10. Um, Milton. Good to see you. Mr. Six. Gaming, what's good, my dude? Once again, shout out to my boy. Once again, congratulations. 10,000 subscribers and growing. It's insane, insane, insane achievement. Um, we got Scouser Gaming. We got Strawberry TV. We got Junior. We got Santosh. We got Dylan Masu. We got Kyler in the building as well. Hope you're doing well, man. We got Michael De uh, Dreher in the building as well. Uh, Tyler Peters. Jazzy Girl. Ave Mali, the Entertainment Channel, Christina God, um, Matt Minier, Pooh Brown, uh, Richie Bruce, what's up, Bart, good to see you back again, Count Ginsula, shout out to my man, first person to actually buy, pop that all my day shirt, it's official, I got it on, if you, if you ever wanted to see what it looks like, it looks like this, it looks pretty much like all my days, if you want to pop that merch, make sure you type in exclamation point merch, if you, if you're like, hey, that shirt looks pretty cool, that looks pretty dope, go ahead and get it, and then, and then, if you do have it, make sure you send me a picture, and I'll retweet you for sure, 100%, um, Mr. Six Gaming, dude, I actually need to make you a, a, a fresh moderator, man. Bush, done. Got that ranch in front of your name right now, and that being said, I'm gonna take some water right now, and then call off some more names. Whoa! Okay, we got 900 people in here? Alright, we should talk about some salary. We should talk about uh, some salary. So, a couple of things here. There's been a new... Update to Pokemon Go, right? Uh, latest update to Pokemon Go has been very good. Unfortunately, I use an iOS device, so I cannot showcase all the brand new features. But we can talk about it, and I'm gonna talk about it right now. So if you go over to my friend list right here, uh, as we already know, you have the capability of nicknaming your, your friends. That was the previous update. Right now with the latest update, you can actually see... Um, if you had some sort of interaction with your friends, uh, like let's say Andrew Goldfarb, uh, Garfab. Uh, for instance, if you have an interaction, you leveled up your friendship for that day, what would happen is around his avatar, there would be a aura, pretty much like, um, what's it like, a, uh, an aura of, yeah, just, it's like a, like a little bit of an aura, just like as if you're raiding together, that indicates that you actually done something with that friend today, and to top it off, if you've sent that person a gift already, and that person has not yet opened that gift, in the right bottom corner of that avatar, you actually see a little arrow, and that arrow basically, basically looks like the little gift one right here at the left, top corner uh, to the gif so that little icon actually shifted to the little profile screen right here in the front list indicating that you've sent this person a gift saves so much time and that's very exciting that's something that i very much like that's something that uh, is a massive quality of life update uh, to me personally because i send out a lot of gifts on a day-to-day -day basis and that actually brings me to my next point we do have a thousand people almost in in chat right now watching this live stream I'm here to let you guys know that I'm going to fill up the friend list today on this live stream with you guys. And I'm going to try to send you guys like one or two gifts before I, I filter out once again. That's what we usually done. I've actually gone up to almost great friend level with some of you guys already. So we're definitely going to be adding some people a little bit later down in the chat uh, during the stream. That's going to be pretty exciting. I'm really excited for that. So that being said... Um, yeah, I got 50 slots available. I removed a bunch of people that weren't, like, engaging with me. Like, I, I would send them gifts, and they would not open it, and then they wouldn't even send me a gift back. So, if there's no engagement whatsoever, I don't care if you're a friend of mine in real life. Like, if there's nothing happening, then there's nothing happening. I'll get you out for one of my viewers. That's how it goes. That's how we do it. Now, here's how it's gonna be going down. I'm gonna be raffling away spots a little, like, let's say half an hour... 
uh, into the live stream. I'm gonna start raffling off some spots so that way I can add you guys to my friend list. And then at the same time, for members, if you're part of the member squad, one of the 100 that are there, uh, I'm also gonna be raffling away ex additional spots for those people who support me the extra amount. So that being said, we got a Pidgeot over here. Um, you love the channel, Warren. Thank you so much, man. Yo, Nick, good to see you. Yo, man. Uh, let's see what we got. Check Charles' Reddit. Okay. We're gonna go to his Reddit in a second here, okay? Because there is some... If you want to know what is in the quest line of Celebi, stay tuned as we're about to get into that. There's a little bit of a spoiler there though, so I'm just here to prepare you guys for that right now. If you guys don't want to know, I strongly advise you turn off this stream very soon because otherwise the surprise will be spoiled for you. But if you want to kind of prepare yourself for the Celebi quest, the Celebi quest line, we're just going to get into that and I'm going to showcase everything. Uh, that we know right now because there has been some uh, data mining available so uh, it's gonna be pretty interesting I'm, I'm really excited for that um, This Pidgeot is giving me a little bit of hard time because I'm mostly not really paying it. Ooh We got that excellent. Oh Critical catch. Let's go. That was a beautiful little catch right there. I Got so much Pidgey candy right now Alright, um, also, I want to show something that I actually managed to obtain today. Um, I actually did a Regirock raid today, and I'm, I'm pleased to let you guys know that the Regirock was a Weatherproof Regirock. Uh, I caught a bunch of Pokemon here. This one. I caught this one Weatherproof 2205, and then, as you guys can see, it's a wonder. That means it's the best potential category of IV. HP, attack... Defense and the stats exceeded the calculations. It's a perfect IV Regirock, which I probably am never gonna be maxing out because Regirock is currently worthless. There's no beneficial, there's no reason as to why you should max out a Regirock. It is cool that you got 100%, but it's one of these 100% that I'm like, I wish it was a Groudon or I wish it was a Rayquaza whenever they're coming back. Um, but it's still nice. It's a keepsake. It's a memory. I'm definitely going to be keeping this one. You know, that's a thing. Uh, I'm excited for it, though. I mean, I was more excited about this one than I thought it was going to be. I seriously thought that, you know, I, I don't, I wouldn't going to keep, I was not going to care for it whatsoever. But that actually brings up the amount of Pokemon that I need to max out to quite a lot. So let's go out and take a look at that. Uh, I actually have labeled them all off limits because I don't want to touch them or I don't want to max them out in any way, shape, or form. I did a trade! This lucky Absol, same story here. Wonder, HP, attack, defense, and it's a perfect IV Absol. And uh, let me guys, let, let me tell you guys this much. Absol is my favorite Gen 3 Pokemon. So to get this one, I was just mind blown, man. I was so excited, really excited for this Absol. I will definitely max this one out. Despite the fact that it, it doesn't really serve a whole lot of value right now. But Absol does come with a mega evolution. So this is definitely going to have some value into the future. So I'm so happy to actually get this one. This one. This Dratini. I got this Dratini from Yamada. He actually got this one in Tokyo. And we did a bunch of trades down in San Francisco. That was really cool. Uh, 384 CP, you would think, okay, that's not really that interesting, but look at this. I praise that, turned out to be a wonder. HP best attribute, attack best attribute as well, and the stats exceeded its calculation. So it's a 15 attack Dratini, which I will definitely max it out, because, it, you know, attack really just matters, and it's, uh, it's, it's less Stardust. It's half the amount of Stardust of what you would usually use. On this particular Pokemon. So I'm really excited that I got this one from a good friend, Yamada. Uh, so, you know, really excited about this one. I'm definitely gonna max this one out. Then this one as well, this Beldum. I hatched this one. It is 478 uh, CP. And um, this one is a wonder. And it has 15 attack. I believe it's like 94 or 96% IV. And for that reason alone, I'm gonna max this one out as well because. 
there's also going to be a Mega Metacross in Pokemon Go, and that's that's seriously that's seriously seriously cool. Then this one, off limits. I caught this one in the wild. I I, I don't know why I called it off why I, uh, called it off limits, but it turned out to be 15 attack and 15 defense. Maybe in the future we're gonna max this one out. I do feel at one point I want to max out some unusual Pokemon. So Poliwrath is definitely one of those Pokemon that is a little bit more unusual that I potentially want to be maxing out. So. That's one that I'm definitely going to be uh, maxing out. We got this Ditto. Uh, caught this one on the wild, on the lure, just randomly. And this one. Man, this one. Wonder. H3. Attack. Defense. It's 100% Ditto. I still... I still cannot believe that I managed to get myself 100% IV Ditto. We're going to take a look at that a little bit later as well. We got a couple of spawns here. We're starting off with this plus a shiny check. It's not a shiny. You have a perfect Gardevoir? I have a perfect Curlia. I have a perfect Curlia. <laughs> you have a 98% Timo Curlia. That's cool. That will you, you might as well just evolve it into Gardevoir. You got the perfect Dunsparce? Dunsparce is kind of interesting. Celebi should be live a little bit later today, guys. Celebi should be live a little bit later today. We're going to be streaming until it's live, so stay tuned. I'm going to inform you guys. Obviously, the chat is going to be... Exploding like crazy the moment is going to be going live. We do got some news about Celebi, which I'm going to jump into a little bit later. Before we get into that, I kind of want to talk about some of the Pokemon that I got. I was going through all of my uh, kind of worthy Pokemon for me to max out at a certain point. So, kind of wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update. Because I generally don't really like give you guys any sort of update on most of my shinies or... The, the Pokemon that are of interest for me to invest into. Uh, as you guys know or may not know... The moment I'm going to be reaching 10 million starters, I'm currently on 3.4 million dust. I'm going to be sp doing a massive powering up spree of a lot of Pokemon. I'm going to be maxing out, so I'm really excited for that. And I hope you guys will be tuning in. If you haven't already and you like what you're seeing, you enjoy the vibe of the stream, or if you've maybe seen a video of mine, go ahead and leave a like on this live stream. It would really help me out. And if you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and subscribe with notifications turned on. And that way you guys get notified whenever we're going live again. Remember, a little bit later in this stream, we're going to be adding some people to the friends list as well. So that way I can send you guys some gifts. So I uh, hope you guys are excited for that. That being said, let's continue to the off-limits list. Um, I have this, this particular Porygon 2 that I actually evolved from a Porygon uh, that I hatched in Chicago. It's actually kind of a keepsake that I got from uh, Pokemon Go Fest this year. And this happened after Pokemon Go Fest and was incredibly excited to find out that this one was a wonder. HP, attack, defense. This is going to be an awesome Porygon Z um, once Generation 4 rolls out. So really excited for that. Uh, a really great hatch as well. Over here we got a Magikarp. I was biking the other day uh, on my way to the city. And then I stumbled, I actually tapped on this Magikarp and it was 182 CP. Magikarp. I don't really recall the amount of times that I found a above 180 CP Magikarp, but I can count it on one hand. That is the amount of times I have. So as upon as I found this one, and I caught I, I, I caught this one, turned out to be a wonder. HP, attack, defense, another 100% IV. The only ever Magikarp 100% IV that I found in the wild without a tracker. Because back in the day, obviously, we would go after 100% IV Magikarp with a tracker. I ended up transferring all of them because I kind of hoped it would be a shiny. I mean, that'd be seriously dope to get 100% IV shiny. But, you know, after that, I was like, I'm not going to invest into a regular one. If it were to be a shiny, sure. I'd set away my pride and be like, okay, I'm going to max that one out, right? So... Moving on to this EV, I actually hatched this one 553 CP. That's pretty high IV. Um, actually, it's a perfect IV. So if you ever hatch a uh, an EV, 
100 percent 553 cp is 100 percent unfortunately this was before community day so that means that this ev could ha didn't have the potential of being a shiny i'm not really sure what i'm gonna evolve it into but uh leave some suggestions in chat if you're like hey evolve it into this one Super hyped for Celebi, can't wait to do all the research and to see if they drop any new shiny Pokemon, keep up the work. Chris Ramos, coming in with the $5 super chat, thank you so much man. I appreciate that, that means I actually need to change the uh, top donation to you. As we go into this Centret encounter. Give me a quick second, guys. I'm just gonna say Chris Ramos. Five dollar. Thank you so much, man. Very generous. Appreciate that. Glaceon. Sylveon. Sylveon is a while. It, like, it takes a little while. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to get myself another 100% IV before Gen 6. So I, I'm not gonna go with Sylveon. I think that'd be kind of kind of silly. Espeon. That's that's definitely a good choice for sure. Uh, Umbreon. Uh, evolved into Celebi. Great, great, great choice. I I would if I could, but I, I can't. Glaceon or Leafeon. Okay. All right. That just sounds like a plan, maybe. Yeah. Whoa. Miguel Vega! He says, keep the donation train going. Thank you. That's awesome. And we also had another super chat. Adam Knile says, one of my Pokemon Go favorite yeah. Pokemon Go YouTubers, you are. <laughs> Thank you, man. I appreciate that. And Marie, $5 as well. I have 100% IV duplicates. Would Niantic ever release an item that allows Pokemon to keep their IVs and CP ever trade? Rare, obviously. <laughs> Highly doubt that, because otherwise it would de-incentis- Otherwise it would, uh, de-incentis- Incentivize? Like, it, there wouldn't be much of a reason more to trade. Like, Niantic obviously wants you to trade as much as you can. So I, I really highly doubt there's gonna be an item that's gonna increase or keep the same IV rate. That'd be kinda bad. And the reason why that would be bad is because all the bot accounts and such that have the 100% IV Pokemon, they'll just be traded over with that item. And that's the one thing that Niantic didn't want with the trading system. So, 100% sure that that actually is not never going to be happening in Pokemon Go. But, I understand the suggestion. Thank you guys so much for the support, guys. And the new berry, I, I don't know. Maybe the new berry is going to be part of the Celebi quest, which is going to be released a little bit later tonight. So, we don't know about that right now. Let's continue with the off-limits Pokemon. Uh, off-limits for me, by the way, means that I am not allowed to power these Pokemon up right now. We got this Tangela, 1253. I don't believe this is 100% IV, but I did have 15 attack, I think. Yeah, 15 attack and 15 defense, so I'm, I'll definitely max this one out. We got this Trico that I hatched as well. This also was a 100% IV. So 527 on uh, Trico is 100%. We had this Flygon that I hatched as well. Uh, it was a 627 CP Trapinch, I believe. Max this one out, also turned out to be 100% IV. Um, as you guys can see, I've, ha I've actually hatched quite a few 100% IV Pokemon. Um, this cast form, got it in Jensen Beach. We actually got this one with a tracker, I believe. Wonder HP. Yeah, I actually got this one with a tracker. I don't want to max out any Pokemon that I got with a tracker, so we'll transfer this one. Um, this shift tree. I think I'd go plus this one, actually. And I believe this is 98 or 100%. I'm not really sure. Wonder HP attacked. Yes. Okay, so this was 100% IV uh, shift tree. Then I have the same CP Tangela. So this is also going to be for tank growth. So excited for that one. And then this one. I actually got this Scyther from a raid for Scizor. And take a look at this. Wonder, HP, attack, defense. And this is kind of where I almost like sort of started my off limits list. We also got Joey's Rotata right here. 
538, found it in the wild in Centro in Obiles, in the crazy amount you guys have seen so much onto the channel. Um, also 100% IV, this kind of like a keepsake, I am definitely gonna max this one out, but I think I'm gonna keep it as a Rattata at one point. And that's kind of it, these are sort of the Pokemon that are like 100% IV, um, that have a lot of meaning to it, that I will potentially max out, not really sure of that. But it's kind of like a keepsake, making sure that I don't ever transfer or touch them in any way, shape or form. Besides that, that cast form that I just casually transferred, I mean, I did get it off a tracker, and you guys know that I don't max out Pokemon that I get from trackers. Also Zigzagoon yeah. here. Andrea San Sanchez! Mm. $2 super chat. Let's take a look. Today's my birthday! Celebi is an awesome gift! Happy birthday, man! Hope you have a great birthday. Of course you will. I mean, Celebi is a great birthday gift, of course. So Celebi, according to how things are usually, would be out in 45 minutes, but I'm going to keep you guys updated. Because it might be a little bit later, it might be not, but it will be today. Right now. Uh, it will be today. Pokemon Go. Hey, Reese Amazing. Shout out to you. Thank you for hopping in here. What time is Celebi time? We don't know. We do not know about that right now, guys. We do not know about that. Unfortunately. How old am I? I can't pinpoint if you're 20 or 30. I'm actually turned 29 this year. 29 years old. 29. If I ever shave my beard, I'd look so young. I already know. I've got a little bit of a baby face on going. Are you going to rush to Celebi quest? I'm actually... Ah, guys, I need to tell you guys this. So for my Celebi quest, I'm actually planning to do something a little bit different. Tomorrow, I'm getting my new camera. I actually purchased myself the Sony A6500 with two really expensive lenses. <laughs> They're a little bit expensive. To kind of upgrade the quality of the channel... I got myself a, a Mavic, a drone, a DJI Mavic Pro, so I'm getting ready. I really want to, you know, I want to take YouTube to the next level. So I, I got this equipment. I kind of want to do Celebi with that, but I'm letting you guys in on a little something, right? I already got Celebi. I already got it. I already got it. You guys want to see it? I'm going to show you. I'm gonna show you. Here we go. Celebi appear. Right here. I got Celebi. But this is this is my finger by the way. But that Celebi is from Pokemon Go Fast. It's my Pokemon Go Fast Celebi. You see it at the bottom, Pokemon Go Fast quest completed. I'm keeping my Celebi for a later time. I said to myself at first, I'm going to be catching my Celebi once it releases for everyone. But I've changed. I've changed that I'm going to be... I'm, I've changed when I'm going to be obtaining Celebi. I'm going to be obtaining my Celebi a little bit later than most of you guys. But I'm going to be obtaining my Celebi... For my 100,000th Pokemon Go capture. So that means I am 2.7... 2,786 catches away from getting my Celebi. So it's going to be a very special capture for me. My 100,000th capture is going to be my Celebi. I think it's appropriate. Um, yeah. Just how I did Torkoal for 100 million XP. I'm going to be doing Celebi... Uh, and my and my Gen 2 Dax um, almost completion for Celebi. I'm going to do it like that. I'm really excited for that. So, yeah. I've been grinding so much, guys. Like, I've been grinding so much. Uh, remember, at Pokemon Go Fest, one month ago, I actually was at, like, 82,000 gadgets. Right now, I'm at 97. So, I've, I've done, like, 15,000 gadgets in, like... 
a little bit more than a month. So I've been going, I've been going ham bananas in, in Pokemon Go lately, like, it's been kind of crazy. As a result of that, I've been doing quite a few egg hatches, actually. Um, oh, look at that round number, 4,600. Um, I still have quite a few incubators left, actually. As you guys can see, I still have 73 times 3. That is uh, 219. So that will bring me up to 4,819. And, and, and I'm waiting for a sale to occur in Pokemon Go. And I do have some pocket coins ready to buy some boxes. So hopefully there will be some incubators in there. So, you know, it's gonna it's going the right way. Why is my Pid why is my buddy Pidgey? That's a good question. Um, simple reason. Pidgey is iconic. That's the only reason. That's a perfect IV Pidgey, actually, that I caught very recently. Um, Wonder, HP, attack, defense. And yeah, Pidgey's just iconic. I like you know. You can all be like, oh, yeah, just walk any Pokemon for a buddy. But here's my reasoning as to why it doesn't matter. Like, you can you can walk an Entei as a buddy. Walk 20 kilometers, get one candy. But you can also do a raid and then get probably a rare candy, get the same result. Um, to me, getting 12 candy for one evolution, it just really doesn't add up a whole lot. So I'd rather just have... Pidgey as an iconic buddy, keep it there forever, see the distance that I've tracked with that particular uh, Pidgey. So that's kind of like my moving reasons as to why I decided to make that my buddy. Uh, there's really nothing much to it, but I just... I, I, Pidgey's iconic, man. You know, Pidgey's just iconic. Oh, wow, that's terrible. Oof. On the beak. And Mega Pidgey. I mean... It might become very useful as a Mega Pidgey. You make a very, very nice remark there, Mike. Mike Nguyen. Definitely. Pidgey. Iconic. Mega Pidgey. Very iconic. Mega Pidgey. Do a Geodude. Nah. I'm already good as, as far as Geodude is concerned. Um, I'm not going to max out uh, one of those. No, Celebi is not out yet. People think it will be out in 40 minutes. But I don't know yet. That being said. That being said, I just want to let you guys know. I'm about to spoil some future quests. Uh, so if you, don't, if you guys don't want to know about anything. If you don't want to be spoiled essentially. With what is to come in Pokemon Go. Please, I'm going to tell you guys right now. I'm going to give you guys about... 10, 20 seconds to turn off the stream right now. Um, I'm going to play an ad. And then I'm going to jump into the Celebi quest. So, you know, going to take something to drink right now. So, you know, if you don't want to be spoiled, final warning. Turn off the stream right now because we're about to jump into some Celebi goodness. Oh, man. Did it even play an advertisement? I don't know. No one's gonna leave. Everyone wants to know this. I don't think it played an ad, right? This feature is useless. Nope. No ad? <laughs> I played one. I, I inserted an ad apparently, but it doesn't it doesn't work apparently for whatever reason. Okay. Well, in that case, let's go ahead and jump in. I gave you guys enough time to uh actually we got more viewers now than before. That's kinda crazy. Alright. Guys, let's go ahead and go over to the um to the to the to the to the wonderful tra Thraus. Thraus. Um he actually Blessed us. Look at his followers. This guy has been on point. He's been getting so many followers because of his, like, you know, what, what he's doing. It's, it's really great what he's doing. I, uh, I really appreciate uh, the amount of work that he puts into uh, the, the data mining. I mean, you know, he's always on point with everything like that. Uh, first and foremost, he said the new item, the Silver Pineapple Berry, is being updated. 
Golden Pineapple as an item name. Feed this Pokemon to receive more candy when you catch it and make it easier to catch. So it's like a raspberry and a pineapple ca uh, candy combined. So you're going to get twice the amount of candy like a regular pineapple, but then the capture rate is going to increase. So I feel it's going to be like a... Um, it's going to be a golden pineapple. It's going to be like a golden raspberry, essentially, which is pretty interesting. I think that's not too bad, actually. So this is going to be the new one. I have no idea how we're going to be able to obtain this one. Is it going to be through raids? Is there going to be another way of doing this? Is this going to be through research, potentially? It's kind of interesting. The silver pineapple berry, for sure, is quite a powerful item. Uh, if anything, it's the most powerful item almost in the game. I still consider Golden Rass to be the ultimate. But uh, this is really good. I actually really kind of like this. Uh, definitely during community days, if you find that shiny, definitely chuck a, a silver pineapple berry. Uh, or the golden pineapple berry uh, in a game. So that's one that is new. That has just been added here 40 minutes ago. Thralls just let us know about this one. Then there's a couple of new Johto quests. Because as you guys know, there's the infusion of new Johto quests being added to the game. Alongside with that more Johto spawns. Generation 2 spawns uh, coming to Pokemon Go here. Uh, evolve a Suncorn of a Natu. Evolve a Suncorn? But you need a you need a uh, you need a sunstone for that or not to something very common versus something much harder to do. Okay, interesting. I I don't see the contrast there because obviously most people would be choosing for not to. I mean, I literally have oh like two thousand. How much not to candy do I have? I have eighteen hundred night not to candy almost. Look at this. I find Natu so many times that I would not opt in for the Suncorn, but, but maybe it's different for you guys. I don't know. Don't know about that. Hey, Zoe! Good to see you. So, yeah. Okay, next up. Make X amount of excellent throws. I love that one. I love my excellent throws. It's, it's a challenge. I'm still the ambassador of the excellent catch medal, which means that you need to catch a Pokemon on an excellent throw. I am doing everything within my power to persuade Niantic to implement that into the game. I've done so since day one. So um, if that gets added to the game, your boy's going to take full credit. Because he's been begging Niantic on his knees to, to make that a reality. Moving on. Catch X amount of water Pokemon. Um, could be tough if you don't have a, uh, if you don't have a water biome. Or if, if you live like in a desert-esque area. Um, so that's the thing. But in general, most people should be not having much trouble with this one. I mean, the five... Okay, I want to ask your opinion here, right? The quest that is in the game right now, catch five electric types in the game. Is it just me that has so much trouble completing that quest? Because whenever I see that quest, I legitimately just don't bother with that quest. Because getting five electric types, unless it's raining, is really hard to do. It's very hard. No, me too. No, yes, me, yeah. Yeah, I feel it's like the mo one of the most difficult quests as a very common quest to uh, to have in, in Pokemon Go. Yeah, and Minin and, 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 and Plusle, but they don't... If, if you have that quest for whatever reason, you just barely see any of the Pokemon required for that quest. That's just what I feel, but yeah, that's that might just be me. Okay. Win a raid. Right here. Catch X amount of... Catch Suncorn? Oh. I'm with evo Evolution in my hat. My bad. Okay, this is okay. Yeah, yeah. Never mind. I, I was with evolu Evolving Suncorn in my mind because I just read it here. Okay, catching Suncorn. So that means Suncorn is definitely going to be a more spawning Pokemon. Not sure how I feel about that one. But hopefully the uh, drop rate of the Sunstone is going to increase as a result of that as well. Make X amount of curveball throws in a row. That shouldn't be too difficult. You can even use it on a... You can do it on a legendary raid boss to get this one done really easily. I mean, Regirock. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but to me, Regirock is the, the most easy, like, legendary raid boss ever when it comes down to throwing. I mean, let me show you guys how I managed to capture my 100% IV Regirock. Um, I was fairly consistent in my excellent throws, actually, but I messed up in one throw. 
Just go ahead and go to my own Twitter account right here. So this one, Reggie Rock. So this was my 100% IV encounter. Um, 11 balls obviously make the circle smaller. Boop. Got that excellent. Poof. Breaks free. I'm not using... Uh, I didn't use any pineapple, I don't believe, in the first one. Uh, I mean, uh, Golden Rass. Second one. See, the circle's so small. But I'm, I'm fairly confident here. Now, this third one, I messed up a little bit. Because look at the circle. The circle's pretty much bigger. And it started to quick uh, attack pretty quickly. So, readjusted the circle once again. Uh, reclaimed myself. Got that accident once again. And I uh, believe that this was the catch. Yeah, there we go. Boop. And the rest is history. Got the 100% uh, IV Regirock. Was excited for that. Regirock was kind of a bit of pain for me to uh, to keep a good catch rate on. But yeah, I did well there. So I managed to capture that one. Pretty happy about that. So yeah, curveballs in a row should be really easy to do on uh, on Regirock right now. Then, here's the spoilers. But before we get into that, there's more quests. There's actually... Oh, there's Celebi quest. Ooh. Okay, let's go to the Celebi quest line here. Because I think that's the most interesting part. So, we're just gonna go ahead and read this out. Um, let me see. Player name. So, this is Professor Willowtax. Uh, you've been such a help in conducting field research and special research. Uh, I have a feeling there's so much more about this world that you've yet to discover, but I'm glad I could count on you to see it through. I've been doing some experiments of my own. This is best into the future. Exciting to discover you about another mythical Pokemon that's rarely seen. Um, take in mind, if you want to activate the Celebi quest, you need to be on quest number three for Mew. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Because there, it, there's a storyline there, essentially. So, you know, that's how it goes down. Um... Would you mind completing these tasks uh, while I conclude my studies? So this is going to be the very first quest line. So it's 03. So that's going to be the introduction, right? Uh, would you mind completing these tasks while I conclude my studies? Please, 1, 2, 3. So that's going to be insert what the quests are going to be. So then after that, you and your Pokemon have some amazing power. But according to my most recent data, it seems that mythical Pokemon I'm tracking only appears at the times of beasts. Also, from what I've gathered, it seems fond of forest and lush greens. Would you mind exploring this further, player name? Let's quest, quest, quest. Then, excellent work, player name. I feel we're getting close to this mythical Pokemon. I wonder if we can find some sort of friends for it by hatching some eggs. So, um, what I'll do in my Celebi video is I'm going to open up the comment section for people to share their friend code in. I'll also post something on Twitter, like if you want to share your friend code. For the Celebi quest. Uh, make sure you add each other. So we can do this together. And maybe you could put that sunstone you've earned. To good use. Oh so that means we're going to be getting probably a sunstone as a reward. Because that, that's just the sunstone you've earned. So we're going to be getting a sunstone from the quest. That's interesting. I haven't found a sunstone in a hot minute. Like for the last like 3-4 months I haven't found a single... Sunstone. I've been playing Pokemon Go a lot. Not found a single Sunstone. Don't, don't know what's up with it. And then, please, one, two, three, once again. Oh, is that an Eevee you've caught? Perfect timing. So, we're apparently, uh, we're, we're apparently have to catch an Eevee during one of these quests, which is interesting. So, that makes me think that the drop rate or the encounter rate of Eevee is going to be increasing as well. Did you know that this Pokemon's unstable genetic makeup enables it one of the several evolutions? I bet if you spend some time on it during the day, you'll be able to evolve your Eevee into an Espeon, a psychic type, just like a mythical... So we're gonna have to evolve an Eevee into an Espeon. Guys, we're gonna do this right now. We are gonna make Eevee a buddy. So we have to do that for the quest, guys. We're gonna have to make an Eevee a quest. We're gonna have to evolve it during the day. So let's see what we got for EVs. Oh, oops. So make sure you keep that in mind, guys. Make sure you keep that in mind. Very early on, you're gonna have to make Eevee your buddy. So go ahead and do that with me right now. Make Eevee a buddy. I'm gonna go with this 875 CP. I'm actually gonna change its name up. It's a lucky Pokemon. And it's gonna be, uh, um, 
Celebi quest. So I'm gonna evolve this one into a as uh, into an Aspion. So we're gonna have to do that um, for the quest. So make sure you keep that in mind, guys. It's very, very important. Um, in order to evolve an Eevee into a Aspion, here's what you need to do. First, make Eevee your buddy. Then you walk that Eevee for 10 kilometers without swapping the buddy. If you swap the buddy, you need to do it again, okay? So very careful. Keep it as a buddy. Don't swap it out in any way, shape, or form. And then, once the game time... Right now, my game is night. Once your game is daytime, you evolve it then once you walk 10 kilometers. Then it will evolve into an Espeon. However, there is a name trick to Eevee. If you're not familiar with the name tricks, uh, all the evolutions have a name trick in which you can name the uh, Eevee into that particular Pokemon of choice. Uh, Raynor is going to evolve it into Vaporeon. Uh, Sparky, Sparky is going to evolve it into Jolteon. Um, Pyro is going to evolve it into uh, Flareon. And then for Aspion, you're going to have to name it this. Sakura, which means cherry blossom in Japanese. So you're gonna have to name it Sakura if you haven't used the name trick yet, and then you don't even need to walk the 10 kilometer. So make sure you keep that in mind, okay? So make sure you make Eevee your buddy. We need Aspion for this special research. We've kind of discovered that right now, so make sure you go ahead and do that right now. You know what? I'm actually gonna keep the name because it's a cool name. So make sure you keep that in mind. Eevee as a buddy is imperative for this research. You just have to walk 10 kilometers with it, okay? So that's the that's the third quest. Third quest. Can you do one, two, three? Wow, that Eevee you've caught, perfect timing. Wait, have we had this conversation already? I feel we're having funny in the back of my mind. Oh, and then the fourth quest is going to be Umbreon. Wow, that's going to be a lot of walking. So, quest number three, evolve an Eevee into an Aspion. Quest number four, evolve an Eevee into an Umbreon. So that means you're going to have to walk 10 kilometers again with an Eevee and evolve it during the night. Now, if you guys want to know what the name is going to be for the name trick, it is not going to be Sakura for uh, Umbreon. It is going to be Tamao. And you, and you write that like this. Tamao. That's how you write it. You need to keep that in mind. That's very important, okay? So, hope you guys can keep that in mind. Uh, that is the name for the Umbreon. So, make sure you do the pre-walking. Don't uh, exchange. Don't swap the uh, EV Aspion. Uh, so, for Aspion... Uh, it's going to be Sakura for Umbreon. It's going to be Tamao. If you haven't used the name trick yet. If you have used the name trick, once again, walk the EV 10 kilometers. Walk it during the day for Espeon. Walk it during the night for Umbreon. That's going to be quest number three and quest number four. Then, quest number five. I have some exciting news. That funny feeling has re hasn't returned. But I did some important reading and I've learned that the mythical Pokemon we're researching has the ability to travel across time. Maybe that's, why, uh, maybe that's why all of this is occurring, recurring, maybe this Pokemon is nearby. I suggest that you collect samples over the course of next week and experiment with some evolution items to see whether that feeling occurs again. While you're at it, do you have any pineapple berries? My research could benefit more data. Return with that, you can have some of these exotic silver pineapple berries. Okay, so we figured it out. We're going to be getting the silver pineapple berries during the Professor Willow Celebi Research Quest. But it says, collect samples over the course of next weekend. No, next week. Does that mean that this quest is a timely quest? Is going to take a week? Or how is this going to go? Not sure about that, but we don't know what this is going to be. So it's going to take some time to get all of these quests done. It's going to take longer than the Mewcast, I feel, in general, if you play a lot. Then, next up, this data is so useful, thank you. I'll use it to explore my theory. While you're in the field, I made more headway in learning about this mythical Pokemon, and it seems that uh, mere presence causes grass and trees to flourish. 
I think if you catch more grass type Pokemon, this elusive time traveling Pokemon will reveal itself. Then you're gonna catch grass type Pokemon. I feel there's gonna be a lot of grass types you're gonna have to capture during this quest. Um, so that is gonna be quest number six. And at quest number seven, on an amazing experience, the mythical appearance of the mythical uh, the appearance of the mythical Pokemon Celebi is thought to be the sign. That a bright and shiny future awaits us. You've gone a long way in this research. I must say you're inspiring uh, me to discover even more Pokemon until next time. So. The biggest key points from this. Eevee needs to be walked into an Umbreon and in, into an Aspion for their respective quest. So guys, make Eevee a buddy right this second. Like make Eevee your buddy if you haven't walked it. Make it a buddy. Walk it for 10 kilometers. Don't change the body in the meantime. Because if you change it, then that uh, the progress will be gone. Then evolve it during the day for an Aspion. Evolve it during the night for an Umbreon. Use the name trick if you haven't already to speed up the process. And then also the Silver Pina Berries will be making an appearance in the game. Starting this 5.3 quest. You're going to be getting... Uh, if you have some Pina Berries, save those Pina Berries. And then you can exchange them for Silver Pina Berries. I have no idea. The silver pine and berries in Pokemon Go will increase the candy of a captured Pokemon and the chance of uh, catching the Pokemon. So make sure you keep that in mind. It's essentially like a, a raspberry and a pine berry combined. That's what you're going to be getting from the Celebi quest line. Okay? So you're also going to be making some friends. So I'm going to be opening up a Twitter post very soon uh, whenever it actually goes live. Okay? Then, we actually got some Celebi quests. Oh, hold up, hold up. This is actually pretty interesting. <laughs> so, guys. In quest number two, we're gonna have a Sunstone. But it's sad that we had to evolve uh, a Gloom or a Sunkern. So, make sure you have an Oddish. Oddish or Suncorn. I have a feeling that Oddish and Suncorn is going to be increased in spawn rate as a result of Celebi being there. So, you need a Sunstone to evolve uh, Gloom or Suncorn. A uh, Gloom into a Foul Plume. So, that's going to be definitely part of the quest. Walk 10 km with Eevee as your buddy. So, uh, guys, you can make Eevee as your buddy right now, but... Um, I think starting that quest, you need to do that, actually. I think you need to start doing walking Eevee as your buddy during that quest. But you can already walk in advance, you know, just to be sure. Maybe the distance will be added, but it's it's kind of unlikely. Oh, shoot! Bellossom, my bad. Sorry about that. Bellossom, my bad. Sorry, I'm so caught up into this. Yeah, Bellossom, of course. Sunstone evolves Gloom into a Bellossom. Yeah, that's dumb of me. Um... And then send some gifts to friends. Well, I'm, I'm done. I'm an idiot. My bad. The next up, we got Evolve Eevee into Umbreon at night. Trade po- You're required to trade a Pokemon? Nah. That's not good. What if people don't have people to play with? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, catch zero Pokemon, uh, trade up, uh, catch zero Pokemon is X amount, like, so it can be any amount. Uh, for people, if you don't have any friends, I'm so sorry about that. Um, that's gonna be tough. Um, if you have another device or something like that, honestly, I know it's against terms of surface or something like that, but make like a level 5 account, trade with yourself, you know? That sort of thing. Like, I'm legitimately telling you guys right now, like, just make it like a second account, trade with yourself, because some of you guys just don't have the capability of, of playing with other people, and I'm so sorry about that. Oh, shoot, we got a, a super chat. Uh, from the giver 18 $20. Thank you. That's very generous, my man. I appreciate it a lot. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Also, kids cannot trade. Kids will assume with Niantic kids, but... Yeah. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. Well, let's, let's, let's... Let's keep it up that, you know, let's, let's keep it in mind that... Let's, let's... 
let's pretend for now that it's gonna be okay. Uh, I'll make sure to address this to Niantic in some way, shape, or form if this is gonna be a thing. Uh, the ability to have to require to trade a Pokemon for this quest seems a little bit silly to me right now. But we'll see uh, about that, okay? We'll see about that. Um, use Spina Berries while catching Pokemon, obviously. Um, use items to evolve Pokemon X amount of time. So we did need evolve items. I was actually right about that. We need evolution items uh, to evolve the Pokemon. And then catch additional Grass and Psychic type. And of course, you need to get yourself that certain Johto medal. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be gold or if it's going to be silver. So you definitely need that for the Celebi quest. You gotta be level 10. Uh, you gotta be level 5 to trade, I think. I'm not sure. But yeah, this is what is currently known right now about the Celebi quest. So I already made Eevee my buddy. And we got an Egg Hatch, guys. We got a Egg Hatch right now. We have an Egg Hatch. Let's go ahead and take a look. What it's going to be. Trico. 527 CPs. 100%. 516. Oh, shoot. That's probably like 94% IV. With 12 attack. I probably think it's like 12 attack or something like that. But still a good one. It's still a, still a very decent Trico for sure. Uh, if in any way, shape, or form you want to catch up on the information on the stream, like a little bit later down the road, I will re—I will upload this stream onto the channel as a separate video, so that way you guys can go out and watch for the next 24 hours. Make sure you, um, if you haven't already, like this video because under your YouTube account you can find the videos that you've liked and then watch them back later. I'm gonna 24 hours. This video is gonna be up, and then I'm gonna leave it unlisted, and you guys can still watch if you've actually liked. Uh, this string so uh, if you want to use this as like some sort of guide for your quests that are upcoming very soon and you you miss out on some of the information uh, go out and leave a like on the video or, or save the stream on itself on itself so that way you guys don't miss out on it so that was a good eye catch we got another one come on Corfana I still want 100% IV uh, Sharpedo so let me see if this is a, a glass cannon or not. It's defense. Uh, not not good enough. We got a Whismur. Oh, Mystic Seven. Thank you for opening up my gift. Ooh, beautiful, excellent. Let's get it. Beautiful little excellent. Let's let's go out and see if we can get many excellents in a row here with this capture. This is one excellent in a row. Pretty good. We got a cast form. Cast form is a little bit difficult because it's so close by. Always trying though. Always trying to get that excellent on this. And it broke free. Let's get it again. Ah, oh, that's... Oh, I thought it was excellent. I was already... I was already celebrating. But it's unfortunate. Don't run. Ah, oh, it's moving. Ah, oh, come on! Come on! Okay, let's get it. Ah, oh, that's so close. That's so close. That is so close. This is, this is gonna be a, a little bit of a, a... Come on. I'm, I'm having a tough time to get this one as an excellent. I've never been good at Pokemon that are too close for comfort. But we got it. We got it. We got this one. Check the IV. It's above average. Oh, that drift. Okay, so let's open up some gifts so that way I can actually get some more. Uh... Brandon Ton, where are you at? He's in Yellow Ufo in Malaysia. Ooh, that's long distance. Come on. What are you waiting for? 
Open up. That lag, though. Alright, in the meantime, error? What do you mean, error? Open. Error? Did I open it already? Or did I hit limit? It opened! Okay, Brandon, let's see what you... Uh... Actually, I increased with Brandon today already. I'll uh, actually do that tomorrow with him. Cruz! The three soldiers from Nashville. This is actually a cool yeah. stop. I like it. <laughs> the Giver18. Thank you for that super chat. He says, well, to become a member. Uh, there should be a join button at the top of the chat. If it isn't, then try logging in from a PC or go to the YouTube gaming app and you should have the m member option there. Open this one up. Ah, there we go. Stardust. Two pineapps. I need that for that... Oh, got a lot of mag. Nice. Thank you, Cruz. I appreciate that. Uh, who else do we got? Uh, Holly. Let's open up Holly's gift. See no evil. Hear no evil. Speak no evil. Wow. That is such a cool Pokestop. Actually, I like that. Thank you, Holly. Stardust, dust, dust, one egg, nice. Yeah, it's pretty dark. I'm almost ultra friends with Holly. Let's see how far we're off. Four days. That's cool. So when I see her in Japan, we'll be ultra friends. That's going to be awesome. Uh, let's see what else we got. James, Pokemon Go NYC. Let's see what he's up to. Statue of Charity from New York City. That's a cool looking statue. I love these focus stuff. This is really cool. Guys, Celebi can, will potentially be live in 10 minutes. Stay tuned. I'm going to keep you guys updated. Keep you guys hopefully entertained a little bit in the meantime. While Celebi is, uh, is waiting for us. Okay. Thank you, James. I appreciate that gift. Let's open up one from Ali. Let's see what he's up to. We're almost ultra friends as well. Welcome to the Born Woods from United Kingdom, Farham. Oh, he's been in the woods. He's been walking in the woods. Tilt for the entrance to Bornwoods, Forestry, Commission Land, and Film Set. Sounds almost like a theme park. Whoa, we got 2,000 people watching? That's crazy. Six Pokeballs! Ah, uh, not on a lot of neck, unfortunately. How far are we off, actually? Three days! Ooh, that's closer than Holly. We got Adam22 here, no jumper. Coolest podcast in the world. The dog house. Let's see what that's all about. Well, there's a number in there. 323-549. Woof. That's cool. Four gray balls. That's it? Okay. That's sufficient. Thank you, Adam. Appreciate that. Brandon, another gift? Oh, no. He opened mine. Yeah, that's what's what it is. Uh, hi, Brad Mongoose. Hi, Brad Mangos. St. Mary's School. Michigan Historic Site. Okay. This is like a quick take and focus stop picture. Stardust. Three Pokeballs. Okay. Am I... Do I already have like 12 alone eggs or 9 eggs in total? Don't know. Gilly. Man, my man JT Gilly growing really fast on YouTube right now. Shout out to him. Jeu de Boule. Yeah. <laughs> Amados. Thank you. Universal. I love all you guys. Mystic, TT, Nick, Jiley, and more. Jiley. <laughs> I actually met Shinbad in India Police during Gen Con. Pogo oh. 9662-8053-8253. Guys, if you tap on the super chat that Amadeus has just left, there's his friend code. Feel free to add him to friends, as you obviously need some friends in the game. In the meantime, Jeu de Boule. Let's take a look. San Francisco. This is Jeu de Boule Playground. It's actually a, a, it's actually a game, a French game, where you throw like these heavy, almost bowling. Oh, didn't... I'm sorry, JT. I'll open it up tomorrow. 
I've reached my limit. I didn't know. I wasn't aware of reaching the limit. Okay, guys. I'm going to be sharing my friend code uh, with some people very soon. Or actually, I'm going to do some raffles to give out my friend code to some of you guys out there. We'll definitely be doing that. It's going to be cool. I'm excited for that. Guys, stop sharing your friend code in chat. Appreciate it. Don't share your friend code in chat. Otherwise, the chat is going to be... No, wait. You know what? I'm going to give you guys... Hold up. Okay, guys. We're doing that thing again. You see this timer? Oh, shoot. That's bad. Uh, let's do that again. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make the chat really terrible right now. You see this timer? While this timer is up, you guys can share your friend code, starting now. So go crazy, share your friend code in chat. While this timer is gone, I want to see no more friend code, or my moderator is gonna go hand blasting bananas on your ass. Just tell you guys straight up. You see how crazy this chat is right now? You see how crazy this chat is right now? This is the reason why I don't allow friend code in the chat, guys. Like, you don't want to see a chat like that. Paluka power! See, I cannot even see your super chat because people are spamming friend codes in chat. Like, if people are just gonna add their friend codes in chat, who's gonna, like, you know, add them, people? That's what I'm on about. Got 20 more seconds to drop friend codes. 20 more seconds. You see how bad this chat is right now? <laughs> 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, stop! Okay. There you go, no more friend codes. In chat, after the line, moderators time out immediately. Paluka Power! Thank you again, two times. Just dropping a super chat, that's it. Nothing else. What? Top donator though, Paluka Power, $10. Bada bing, bada boom, appreciate that. Okay, guys, let's catch this centrat for you guys. Excellent. Oof. Called it. Kobe. Kobe. Got it. That's cool. That was a cool little catch. It's not likely, but we did it. We got it. Okay, guys. So like, all right. So here's what I'm gonna do. Here's what I'm gonna do. Pay very careful attention. I am going to. There's like two thousand three hundred of you, and I only have fifty slots right here. So, I... Ah, jeez. How am I gonna do this? How am I gonna do this? I'm gonna add you guys. But I don't wanna do a raffle or something like that. I wanna do it a little bit differently. So, I want you guys to pay very close attention to chat. As I'll be adding... As I'll be typing my code in chat. Because some people have a delay. Some people have a little bit of lag. And as a result of that lag, they do not have the capability of, of adding me in time, right? So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put a slow timer on chat. I'm going to slow roll the chat for 120 seconds, for, for 2 minutes. You can only say one thing per 120 seconds. 
I know that's a little bit long, but it's just for this like two minutes, okay? So that goes in now. So, I'm sorry, the chat's really slow right now. Slow mode's on, two minutes. So that way, at least you guys get to see my code, okay? So I'm gonna go to the left, left screen. I'm gonna get my friend code. I'm gonna type it in chat. I'm gonna type it in chat. So that way, you guys can see it, okay? So that being said, Be sure to be quick, guys. Be sure to be quick. Have your game open or something like that. Javier, I appreciate that super chat a lot, man. Let me see what the uh, super chat said. Hey, it's small Morehead guy from 7... Oh, shoot! It's you! Oh, yeah, there was a guy with a small a small Morehead. That was awesome. Okay, guys, here we go. Three, two, one. This is my friend code yeah. that I just spammed in chat. Demetrius, as much as I appreciate that, as much as I appreciate the super chat, I am not going to add people for money. Oh gosh, my game's gonna be crashing. I'm gonna catch this retard in the meantime and just let my friend list go crazy. And my uh, super chat is gonna go up. Uh, my, my regular chat is going to go back to 10 seconds. My game just crashed, guys. Thanks. My game just crashed, thanks to you guys. What has happened? My game just crashed. My game just crashed. Wait, everybody's game crashed. Guys, it is time. It is time. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Guys, this is it. This is it, guys. This is it. It's about time. Very soon. Let's put in the Pokemon theme song. Guys, it's about time. Oh, it's, it's, I'm in the, oh, there it is, guys. The quest is here. The quest is here. Celery is here. Guys, the quest is here. The quest is officially here. Start of the game again. Reverse the YouTube. You've been such a help in conducting field research and special research. I have a feeling there's so much more about this world that we've yet to discover. And I'm glad I can count on you to see it through. I've been doing some experiments of my own and I suspect that I'm in, into, onto further exciting discovery about another mythical Pokemon that's rarely seen. Would you mind completing this task while I conclude my studies? Please power up a Pokemon five times, battle in the gym two times and battle in a ra- Pop Saget, it's tw it's 10 o'clock here. Niantic, why are these always being released whenever it's nighttime in Europe and we have to wait? Like literally for me to do my very first quest, I'm gonna have to wait first thing in the morning, 6 a.m. Because I cannot do it. I cannot do this quest. It's 10 o'clock in the evening. There's no raids here. No. No. I live in the Netherlands, guys. But what we can do is we can power up a Pokemon five times. A ripple in time. The quest is officially here. The quest is officially here. And the first quest is battle in the raid. I just knew this was going to be happening. I just knew this was going to be happening. But the quest is officially here. I'm just so excited that you guys finally have the ability to get the amazing special Pokemon Celebi. This one. Look at this. Celebi. Pokemon Go Celebi. It's finally here. Celebi is finally here in Pokemon Go. Celebi has officially been released to everybody. Unfortunately, it takes a little longer. Joffier. Thank you so much. Uh... I don't think I got room right now because I still need to add some people. But this is Celebi. This is my Celebi, guys. I told you guys, I'll be streaming until I have my Celebi. Celebi is finally in Pokemon Go for everybody. Go out, go crazy. Why are you still watching? You guys are insane. Honestly, 
Guys, can we get a thousand likes on this stream to celebrate Salary's arrival in Pokemon Go? We only need 500 more likes onto the stream and it literally only takes you a second to do. It is completely free to do. So go ahead and leave a like on the stream. We're currently at, at 600. So we need like 400 more um, to kind of celebrate. So that being said, I'm going to be adding you guys to my friends list. We got 200, 200 requests. Shout out to G5S3. Lucia Tapia, Corin3250, CJ The Rock, Bruff Bonfire, Jer0 68, Levis13, Jessica Rabbit, Lol got wrecked, mate. Yeah, you got wrecked, bro. Boom! Pharaoh871, Hot Skull, Kylo Less, Emma9728, King504, Marine Town, uh, Town Hank, Poke Fabo, Crimson King, Pickers, One Jillion, CJ Cubby, Seuss AS, Zach Rizzle, Jinx AOD, Rimafu, The Harpy 9080, you made it back in, bro. No, wait, The Harp. Oh, guys, The Harpy 1980. I have a Pokemon named after The Harpy. I have a Pokemon named after The Harpy. There's boxes in the game? Okay, Teddy Bait. 783 likes. That's insane, guys. Can we get 200 more? Demiaxo. Cozy UK 1986. Mtor Fang. The Seven Hades. X Pro Voyager. Voyager. Mozart 87. Baja Majan. Storm RK9. That's cool. RK9. I like that. Azelman Matley, Valsteel, Wonder Moments, Jeff Keebler, GPR, AK09, JD Breaks, Sam, Nicolas, Shady Leprechaun, Edward Elric. Ooh, you've been watching Full Metal Alchemist, have you? 2010, Easy Class, Roger Pearson. A Robs, Jacob, uh, Snitches Witch, Tokar. I think I've had you on my friend list before. Uh, you follow me on Twitter or something like that. Sebastian, Jonathan. Oh, my friend, I'm so sorry about that. Shout out to Jonathan, who unfortunately clutched it out, and everybody who sent in a friend request really early on. I'm so sorry that I did not have the capability of adding all of you guys. You guys were really close, but unfortunately the other 50 were faster. The P50 that I've added to my friend list, uh, expect a friend, um, uh, expect a, uh, expect a gift to all of you guys, maybe the one or two or something like that. So make sure you keep an eye out for that. There apparently are boxes. Yeah, there's a seal. Guys, there's a seal in game right now. There's a seal in game right now as well. Let's go ahead and take a look what the seal is consisting of. So, the special box, 20 Ultra Balls. I always feel a little bit iffy if they add uh, Pokeballs, Ultra Ball, Great Balls to uh, boxes. Um, two Incubators, two Lucky Axe, two Premium Ray Passes, 20 Ultra Balls. Doesn't seem like an amazing box, this special box. I would pass on to that personally. Uh, that's the special box. The Great Box, uh, six Incense, four Super Incubators. So the, the Ray Passes and the Super Incubators already pay for the box itself and you you pay less pocket coins which actually this is great box is a great deal comes with five star pieces as well so that's a really great box i actually kind of like this one nice diversity especially incense going to be very useful if you have that celebi quest ongoing so this is a pretty nice box i can definitely this is de definitely actually one of the better great boxes that we've ever had in pokemon go so this is pretty good the ultra box why is there no star pieces in the Ultra Box? Niantic, please, like, Niantic, remove the incense, place star pieces there, and you got the best Ultra Box in the game. However, can't really complain. 12, so you essentially, you, you buy ray passes. You, you buy 12 ray passes, and then for 280 Pokecoins, you get all of this for, like, that deal. Man, why is there no star pieces in these Ultra Box? Oh man. I'm really a little bit bummed out about that because I need star pieces a lot. 
Yeah, guys, I don't know how to. Ah, oh, man. It's it's like that. That ultra box is mostly for incubators and stuff. I, I already know, but still, a little little bit salty. Not gonna lie. I guess I'll be stocking up. I mean, I need star pieces, man. I really need star pieces. Gen two Pokemon are spawning everywhere, guys. Can we can it, can we have a confirmation on that? I think that's pretty interesting. In the meantime, Silver Road is gonna be a hot spot as well. We're gonna be streaming a little bit longer. Celebi is in the game, yes, we know. Let's take a look at this. Whoa, definitely. Look at that Snobble nearby. Gen 2 galore here. There's a lot of Gen 2 mons here. Yeah, Gen 2 Pokemon are everywhere. So get yourself that Hound Doom. Get yourself that Hound Tower. Get yourself that, that Snobble. Paper Witch. Celebi, hi. Greetings from Germany, where raiding times are also over for the night. I know, right? Hand waving light skin tone. Look at this. One really early. Thank you so much for that super chat, by the way. I really do appreciate it, and I feel you as well. We Europeans are a kind of having a are a little bit slapped in the face there. We we also want to get it really early, but unfortunately we can't right now. But you know what? At least we can go to bed early, wake up for the earliest grades of the day, get celery then. Anyway, in the meantime, shout out to the Harpy. The Harpy 1980. Got the pleasure. Uh, got the pleasure to meeting you last year, Pokemon Go Fest. I still remember that encounter. Got you on the friend list right now. Um, that's awesome. You know what? Because you've been so supportive for such a long time, I'm actually going to keep you on my friend list. I'm actually going to... So, Sunkern! Immediate Sunkern here! Wow! Immediate Sunkern here! Ooh! Excellent! That's awesome! Whoa! Hey, Carrie! What's up, man? Happy Chelebi! Look, I don't have any sunstones. So, Gen 2 is spawning all over the place right now. Make sure you keep that in mind. There's new quests which get you um, uh, Celebi power. Uh, we can, I suppose we can power up a Pokemon five times. So, um, let's go with a Pokemon that I would actually power up, right? Because otherwise, that would kind of be a waste. Or would it? Nah, let's not do that. Let's go buy CP. Let's go to the lowest of the lowest. Uh... I thought there was a reduction on dust. Power up this EV. I thought it was a reduction on dust. Apparently not. 200 dust. How much do I have? Is it gonna spend 200? Probably. Yeah, it is. Hmm. 400? When does that half come into play? Okay. Let's go for something else. Go for this unknown. That's my fifth power up right there. There we go. Bush. That's that task completed. Gym, gym battle two times. That's going to be easy peasy. There's some more news, guys. It doesn't end there. Doesn't end there. Let's go to the left screen. How to unlock the Celebi, how to unlock Celebi Pokemon Go. So, we essentially got all the quests right now. In Pokemon Go and what they look like. We don't know exactly what all the rewards are going to be. But we do know about the quests specifically. So if you want to prepare yourself. Stay tuned. Listen. Because I'm about to talk all about this. I'm not going to go into the detail of the, the thing again. Because we already went through that before. But I'm just going to gonna go take a look at what the objectives are of all of these. Okay. So power up a Pokemon five times, uh, battle gym twice, and then do a battle in a raid. That's really unfortunate for Europeans right now. 
gives you 10 Pokeballs, one charge, and a super incubator. Then this one. Wait, there's no objectives for the second. Oh yeah, uh, there's no objectives for the second one for whatever reason. The third one says uh, use a sunstone to evolve a gloom or a sun current. I I'm pretty sure that the reward of the second step is going to give you a sunstone. So you know, no, uh, maybe we could put you that sunstone you have earned uh, to good use as well. So probably gonna as a reward we're gonna be getting a sunstone. Or the objective is to get a sunstone. I don't think that's going to be the case, but it could be either way. But the sunstone says that you need to evolve, use that to evolve a gloom or a sun kern. A uh, gloom for blossom and a sun kern for um, sun flora. And then use X amount of items for to evolve Pokemon. So you're going to be needing some evolution items to complete this quest. So if you save them, uh, that's good for you. Then the Ripple in Time is going to be a long quest. Evolve an Eevee into an Aspion during the day. You're going to have to walk uh, 10 kilometers with Eevee as your buddy to earn that candy. And then earn the Johto medal. And then the next one says Evolve an Umbreon at night. That's going to be a requirement as well. So, you know. Evolve Eevee into Umbreon at night. But make sure you keep it as a buddy. Then the next one is. Catch X amount of Pokemon days in a row. Visit X amount of Pokestop days in a row. Oh, I get it. Okay. Oh, we got a Snobble spawn. What the heck? This is the first Snobble spawn. Come on. It's not a Shiny, but it's a Snobble spawn. Oh. Okay. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. New Daily Crest is the Johto Festival. That's pretty cool. I'm happy to see that. Yes, if you want to Pokemon Go Fest, you can get Celebi. Alright. So this one, this this quest, this Ripple in Time. Train out some exciting news. The funny feeling hasn't returned, but I did some important research. Learning that the mythical Pokemon were researched. He has the ability to travel across time. Maybe that's why all this is occurring or recurring. This is Pokemon nearby. I suggest you collect samples over the course of the next week. So, that means that the quest of Ripple of Time... Catch a Pokemon probably seven days in a row. That's most likely going to be the thing. So it's going to take us time to complete this particular quest here. It's going to take us time to get this done. If you get this quest completed, then you are going to be getting yourself some silver pineapple berries, which is cool in itself. So you have something to look forward to. Then you're also going to be using pineapple berries to catch uh, Pokemon as well. So make sure you keep that in mind, guys. Make sure you keep that in mind. So you're going to have to... You cannot complete Celebi in a single day. It's going to take you some time. So I guess with that in mind, it is not that bad, really. That you cannot, you know... It is not that awful that we as Europeans don't get to battle in a raid right now. Because we're going to have to wait on step number 7 anyway. I think that's kind of cool. I think it makes it interesting. Uh, this makes people active, obviously. So that's going to be a ripple in time. That's going to take us a little while. And then this one catch uh, X amount of grass and psychic type and then evolve uh, a grass type Pokemon that's gonna be relatively easy and then after that you know Celebi it's gonna be probably different for people at Pokemon Go Fest because uh, people at Pokemon Go Fest you know they've already got Celebi so they are most likely going to be getting candy to power up Celebi I believe that's what it said also um, there should be new outfits, right? But they're not here. Let me restart my game. Let me quickly restart my game to see if I, uh... Can find it for you guys. Yeah, they did just release Salabi. But it's gonna take a little while for all of us to get it. Let's see. Style. No, they haven't added the uh, the Celebi shirt yet. So that will be coming very soon. In the meantime, they, that, they did get us some new boxes, some new sales. Uh, special box, not that great. If you want star pieces, then I would recommend going for the great box. But the great box, I mean, yeah, star pieces. I don't know. Ultra box. Let's get a couple of those. Let's actually use our Poké Coins to just fully get those instead. I mean, it's a really good deal. 
But luckily, guys, luckily it seems that that trade quest is not there. I don't think there's a trade quest. I don't think there's a trade quest. Because look, the second quest says make three new friends. Evolve an evolved grass type Pokemon. So you need to e Oh wow, that's an interesting one. Evolve an evolved grass type Pokemon. And this gives you a sunstone. So that's the sunstone that you need for this quest right here. It doesn't say trade. There's no trade in this anymore. Hopefully that means that the trade quest is gone. Because that quest sucks. I don't like that trade quest. For people that don't have, you know, friends to play with. People to play with. And you got the raid pass. That's cool. Premium raid pass. That's always nice. So yeah, evolve the Nuzleaf, for instance, evolve a Nuzleaf, evolve a Gloom into a Foul Plume, stuff like that. Confirm, Niantic is watching you right now. <laughs> Niantic, can we please get uh, 2,500 uh, Pokemon storage? Thank you. Please, like right now, everybody wants it. <laughs> I'm abusing that immediately. And also, can we get an excellent uh, catch uh, badge, please? <laughs> Yeah, okay. Enough with that. <laughs> it would be epic, though, if they would actually, like, listen to that. Like, please, like. Oh, oh Shoko. Don't. 240 CP? That's really high. That's really high. I've, that's really high CP for Shoko. That's really high CP for Shoko. Cause 300 CP is 100% IV maxed out. That's really high Shoko. 7,000 starters to power up. Oof. I have a lot of Shoko candy. Hot damn. It's going to be interesting to see what, what Pokemon Go, what, what's going to happen, you know. We almost have a thousand likes. Can we push for it, guys? Like, I'm showing you this, right? Actually, you see this? This little button? Tap on it. It takes you a second. Like, look at this. It, I've already done it. I've liked the stream. It took you a second. One second, guys. One moment of your time. 919. 919. That's sick. Immediately, just bam. We got a Rafception here. Oh, look at that handsome fella right there. 983. Look at that. 980. Oh, we made it. Yes. 1,000 likes. Thank you, guys. Thank you for 1,000 likes. That's appreciated. Oh, my days. Type exclamation point merch. If you're interested in getting yourself one of these exclusive reversals, Oh My Day shirt. And if you get those shirts, make sure you shoot a picture on Instagram or on Twitter. And I'll make sure to highlight you in some way, shape, or form. Whether it be an episode or anything like that. Um, that being said, just this, this stream has been crazy. Salabi has finally been released in Pokemon Go. I'm really excited for you guys. I'm really excited. If you guys want to see Salabi once more, I'm going to just show you guys right now. So this is what Celebi looks like in Pokemon Go. This is what Celebi looks like if you encounter it. This is Celebi in Pokemon Go. Official tweet from Niantic. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Niantic tweeted, okay guys. Attention trainers, it is now time to help Professor Willow find Celebi. We already knew that. We already knew that. We already knew that. But I appreciate it. Yeah, that's cool. Look at this. Celery. Celebi. Celebi hype. Can we get a Celebi hype in the chat? 
Look at this bad boy. This is an awesome one. The Celebi shirt in game still needs to be added, so we'll get to that. We'll we'll get to that. I still have that slot in my Pokedex opened. I still need it. I don't have it. I did do the encounter though, but uh, yeah, I still need it. Hopefully soon. Hopefully soon. I'm really excited for that. Oh shoot! I'm gonna change different song. I'm gonna change to this song. Salabi hype, guys! This stream has been insane. Go out, venture, get yourself that Salabi. Increase snowball spawns and hound hour as well. Shiny chances all around the block. That being said, though. I'm gonna wrap things off here. I'm gonna say thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have been great. If you guys haven't, make sure you subscribe to the channel. My name is Riververso. This has been the Pokemon Go live stream. You guys have been you. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for hanging out. Thank you so much for chatting, for liking, for donating. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.